Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Evan with a WBZ News Update. Our top stories, 91-year-old Jean McGuire, a Boston civil rights icon, who was stabbed while out walking her dog, is out of the hospital and speaking about the attack. She says she will never walk alone again. McGuire was stabbed a week ago near Franklin Park, and police are asking any witnesses to come forward. Police are investigating this crash that killed a 16-year-old girl in Wareham. Police say she was driving just before 11 last Last night when she suddenly veered off the road and hit a tree. The victim is from Rainham, but investigators haven't released her name. A hearing is underway in Haverhill, where teachers are fighting a court injunction, which ordered them to go back to work today. Teachers tell us they'll continue to strike until a deal is reached despite the court order, and they've been on strike since Monday. Let's get a check of the forecast now that the rain is moving out with Sarah Robleski. And there sure was a lot of rain. In fact, some areas picked up over an inch, up to two inches in places like Haverhill in Lawrence with those thunderstorms that rolled on through the night. The good news is this front is slowly pushing off the coast and we just have a few lingering isolated showers. It is linked to an area of low pressure over the Great Lakes that it will be parked there, but that just continues to deliver cooler temperatures into parts of the Ohio Valley as well as the upper Midwest that will eventually rotate into the northeast as we get into the next couple of days. So today we're in the 60s. We are drying out tonight. You'll notice the chill. We fall back into into the 30s to the interior 40s at the coast could see some areas of frost out there. Keep that in mind. You're going to need that extra layer tomorrow at the bus stop, but I do expect us to see dry weather. In fact, it's going to be a little bit cooler, not only for tomorrow, but also for your Thursday. What we'll be watching, though, is as we head into the weekend, the jet stream lifts to the north and we've got some warmer weather on the way. So 30s for overnight lows tonight, as well as Wednesday highs only in the 50s, slowly increasing temperatures as we get into the weekend, upper 60s to near 70, then bringing back the rain chance as we head into early next week. Paula. All right, Sarah, thanks so much. I'm Paula Evan. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a good day.